Welcome to this tutorial on mission planning with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. In this video, we will walk through the entire process of planning a mission, including a few best practices along the way. Before we get started, let's get a few housekeeping items out of the way. This video covers the creation of an RTK mission that utilizes the DJI Mobile Base Station for real-time corrections. Prior to flying the mission, you will need to provide the coordinates of the control point the base station will be mounted over, so you'll want to have that information handy. Also, after the mission has been flown, the upload process requires you to select a control point coordinate set from Kespri Cloud, meaning you need to set up the coordinates of the control point in Kespri Cloud as well. You don't technically need to do this prior to flying a mission, but you'll need to enter this information into Kespri Cloud prior to uploading the photos for processing. Also, when you arrive on site, the first thing you'll want to do is set up the base station. The base station will need to be up and running while the mission is being created as you'll need to provide coordinate information for your control point. If you do not already have the RTK module attached to the Mavic 3, you'll need to attach it to the drone prior to turning it on. Once all of this has been set up, you're ready to go. To get started, tap the Pilot 2 app on the controller home screen. Next, tap Flight Route. Tap Create a Route. Tap the Mapping option. Within the Mapping function, you can delineate your mission area and set the route parameters. Pinch and zoom on the screen to locate your desired mission area and tap the screen to generate the mapping area. Several boundary points will be added. For ease of planning, tap the double arrows to collapse the mission parameter screen. You can drag the boundary points to frame the area, and optionally, you can tap the plus sign to add boundary points. The delete button can delete the selected boundary points and the clear button allows you to delete all the boundary points and start again. After the mission area is set, tap the double arrows to expand the mission parameter screen. First, provide a name for the mission to something that makes sense, such as the location of the site you are flying, so it can be quickly identified for future flights. For the camera, select Mavic 3E and choose Wide. Leave Smart Oblique and Terrain Follow disabled. For the ASLALT option, choose Relative to Takeoff Point. Scrolling down, set the desired flight route altitude by tapping the positive or negative values to adjust the value in the center. This is the altitude at which the aircraft will fly during the mission. Please ensure it is set to an altitude that is higher than the tallest obstacle in the mission area. Accept the defaults for target surface to takeoff point. Save takeoff altitude, takeoff speed, and speed. The course angle can optionally be adjusted if the flight direction needs to be modified. For example, if you need to change the direction the aircraft flies due to wind conditions, or if you have an airspace authorization next to an airport that states you must fly perpendicular to the runway. In most cases, the default setting of zero is adequate. Choose Return to Home for the Upon Completion setting. Tap Advanced Settings, accept all of the defaults, but change the photo mode to Distance Interval Shot. To save the mission, tap the Save icon on the far left side of the screen. Access the Settings menu by tapping the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Towards the bottom center, tap the RTK icon. Enable both the RTK Positioning and Maintain Positioning Accuracy Mode options. From the Select RTK Service Type menu, choose DRTK2 Mobile Station. When prompted, restart the drone by powering it off and then back on. When the drone powers on, access the RTK menu again within Settings. Choose Not Connected next to Status and select your base station from the list. Once connected, you'll want to verify a few things. Make sure the positioning of the aircraft shows fix and the mobile base station has coordinates. Also, scroll down and make sure you see values for standard deviations.
Choose Advanced Settings and provide the password 123456. Change the latitude and longitude to reflect the actual coordinates of the control point the base station is using. Tap the OK button at the bottom to save your changes. Back out of Advanced Settings and back out of RTK Settings screen. You may notice a red warning in the upper left-hand corner that says Sudden RTK Position Data Change. You'll want to power cycle your drone upon seeing that warning. Now that we have the mission created, let's take a look at a few important camera settings that will ensure the best quality photos are taken during the mission. To access the camera settings, tap the camera view window in the lower left. Once in camera view, you'll notice you have your camera settings towards the upper right part of the screen. The first thing you will want to confirm is that the camera is in photo mode and not video mode. If you see a video icon, tap once. Choose the photo icon and make sure it's in single shot mode. Change the camera mode to S, which stands for shutter priority. This mode tells the camera that a fixed shutter speed must be used. The camera can adjust the exposure and ISO. Also, change the shutter speed to 1 1,000th. This is to avoid motion blur. Next, we need to make sure auto exposure is set to unlocked. This will allow the camera to adjust the exposure with aperture and ISO. You will see the letters AE towards the top right and the padlock icon should reflect that it is unlocked. Next, make sure focus mode is set to AFC, which stands for Auto Focus Continuous. Tap the icon if you need to change the setting. This will recalibrate the focus for each image, which will help prevent motion blur. Tap the three bars in the upper right corner and make sure the image ratio is set to 4x3. This ratio deletes nothing, utilizing the entire sensor. Other settings will crop the image. Also, verify image format is JPEG. Tap the three dots in the upper right. Make sure lock gimbal while shooting is enabled. This will help prevent blurry images. Also, make sure mechanical shutter is enabled. A mechanical shutter uses conventional front and rear shutter curtains at the front of the sensor. Leaving this turned off can introduce distortion. Accept the rest of the defaults and tap anywhere on the screen to exit. Next, exit the camera view by tapping the arrow in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Alternatively, you can use the back arrow button on the controller. From the Pilot 2 home screen, choose your mission. When you are ready to fly, tap the play icon to load the mission. On the pre-flight check screen, ensure the system shows it's in end mode. If it is not, it can be changed by using the mode switch in the top center of the controller. Set the return to home altitude to the desired altitude. This is the height at which the aircraft will fly back to the launch point. Should a return to home be initiated by the operator or by the system, return to home altitude needs to be higher than the flight route altitude. Set the signal lost action to return to home. Toggle the max flight distance setting to on and set the value to 5000. Accept all remaining defaults and click next. On the mapping checklist screen, ensure both flight route complete action and signal lost action are set to return to home. Verify the camera mode is set to S, which stands for shutter priority and the shutter speed value is set to 1 1000. Once finished, Tap Upload Flight Mission and tap the Start button. At this point, the aircraft will take off and ascend to the defined flight altitude prior to navigating to the first waypoint. It will fly the mission and will return to home automatically when complete. After the mission, the photos that were taken can be uploaded to Kespre Cloud for processing and stitching. The upload process will be covered in a separate video.